Hi, I'm Matthew Holscher, founder of Parent Marriage Coaching and creator of the Emotionally Connected Couples Coaching Program. The third most popular question I get asked is, how do I get my partner to go to coaching with me, Matthew? I love your website, I love what you stand for, I love your process, but I'm having trouble getting their buy-in. So here are six tips that you can use to get your partner to come to coaching with me. Number one, I offer a money back guarantee. I offer the whole first 90 minute session. The last question I ask is, did I earn my money today? And if either one of you says no, we shake hands and part as friends and I'm perfectly okay with that because this is your marriage and this process focuses on both of you taking responsibility for that marriage. And if either one of you isn't willing to do that, I can't help you and neither can anybody else. So I have nothing to lose in offering to help you, but you have to get your partner on that same page. And the only thing they will be out is their time. Number two, tell them that there are set time limits. This is going to take 30 days and we're going to do three sessions and they're about 90 minutes each. And if you don't feel a rapid change in your marriage over that time, again, this isn't going to work. Your partner may be objecting to some open-ended commitment that we're going to be meeting once a week for an hour for at the next three to six months or God knows how long. And they're afraid of starting that commitment because they don't know where it's going to end. So tell them it's three sessions, 90 minutes over about a month. And now there are set guidelines on where we're at. Number three, ask them, what would make coaching successful for you? What would you like me to improve in our marriage? And when you ask them that question, you're now getting their buy-in and don't respond to anything they say. Just write it all down and bring it to me in the first session. But you've now opened them up and engaged them in the process that perhaps there is something that could be done better and that they could value or learn from working with a coach. The next one is you're using a coach, not a therapist. So tell them that there is no diagnosis going on here. They are not broken. You feel that you are missing something. You're missing some skills and you're going to go learn how to be a better marriage partner and not worry about being diagnosed with anxiety, depression, or narcissistic attachment, personality disorder, or something like that. None of that's going on when you work with me. Number five, you want to remove all barriers and all objections. So find a good time with them, find a babysitter, figure out the transportation, work out the schedule, take care of the payment. I accept cash or credit card or check and make sure that there's no other barriers for your partner to object. Take responsibility and honestly, make it a date night. I'm going to do all the pre foreplay work to get you both emotionally reconnected. Go have dinner afterwards. Keep the babysitter a little bit longer. Leave the kids at the grandparents. Go home, be alone together, and reconsummate your marriage so that you get that feeling that you both deserve of being on the same page and committed and one together. And finally, worst case scenario, if they bail at the last minute or your partner is trying to sabotage or put the brakes on a couple of hours before the session, they're getting cold feet, don't let them sabotage it. I want you to go anyway. We'll renegotiate the payment terms if we're not doing the full process, but you need to show your partner that this is important to you, you've committed to it, and you expect them to go. And so if they refuse, I want you to get in your car and I want you to come see me anyway. Text me or call me on the way over here and explain the situation, but we will talk about it when you get here. Because more often than not, your partner will get in the car with you at the last moment. When they see that you're serious, when they see that you're committed, when you see that you're doing this no matter what, and if they're not committed to it, you're going to go work on yourself and figure out what you need to do next, which might include not being married to them. They see you're serious. They see that it's like a test. And as long as you're committed to going, you pass that test. And more often than not, they will come with you. And if they don't, it's okay. Come by yourself and we will make up a new arrangement and I will take you through a slightly different process in order to get their buy-in and to move to the next level. So here's a couple of six good reasons on what you need to do to convince your partner to come to coaching for the first time. My name is Matthew Holscher, founder of Parent Marriage Coaching 
and creator of the Emotionally Connected Couples Coaching Program. I look forward to working with you soon.